Hi friends, this is Tina and welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to be setting up my June theme in my bullet journal. My theme for June is oceans and if you have followed me on Instagram for a longer time, you might know that I had a similar theme for June last year. That was the first time I ever painted any landscapes and I really loved that month in my bullet journal. Ever since I've had this theme in mind, so I thought June would be a great month to recreate it again. My cover page has a clownfish peeking from anemone, and if I said that wrong, I'm so sorry. I can't help it, but this just reminds me of Finding Nemo and especially the first scene of the movie. This cover page is actually my absolute least favorite painting in my whole setup. That actually happens to me a lot with cover pages because that's always the first page I make and usually it's almost like a practice page for me. I really love this picture but it didn't really end up working after all because the colors are just so different from my other pages and also I'm just terrible at drawing any kind of animals. Okay, this is my formal announcement that I will never paint animals ever again. Okay, I will probably break that at some point, watch me. I actually thought of completely changing this cover page after it was done, but I decided to just leave it. I definitely look at my journal sometimes too critically, especially because I'm posting pictures of it on the internet. I just had this thought in my mind that it for some reason needs to be perfect, even though nothing in life is perfect. I wrote June here with a pigment micron and then used a white gel pen to make white borders for the lettering to make it pop more. I finally made a full calendar spread after a long break and I just really love the look of it. I'm painting this picture on a separate piece of paper because I messed up on the first try when I was painting it straight to the journal. It feels so good to paint on a real watercolor paper. The colors blended so well and it was so much easier to work with gouache. I'm painting some crushing waves here and overall this painting is a very simple and easy one. If you have never painted any water, I would highly suggest you trying something like this first. For this painting, I added darker shades to the bottom of the wave and lighter shades to the upper part. I used white mixed with a little bit of light blue to create the first layer of paint for the foam and then used some pure white to add on top of that, making sure you could still see some of the darker shade underneath. I used Windsor and Newton and Royal Talents gouache to make this whole theme. I have all of my used products listed in the description along with my discount codes and socials. This calendar is definitely inspired by again Hannah from Hannah Maria Plans and I will link her YouTube and Instagram down below. I painted these numbered dots with a cute coral shade and I liked it so much that I decided to use it in all of my other pages as well. Now let's get on to my tracker spread. As you can see here, my paint from the calendar spread had magically appeared on the spread as well, so I just quickly used my white jelly roll pen to cover them up. I used masking fluid for this painting because I wanted to paint the background first and leave the ship clean from paint. 
I don't know if this is me or my notebook problem, but I struggled so much with gradients and painting even background layers throughout this theme. I tried to work fast and use enough paints and cover the whole surface thoroughly, but I was always left with weird and blotchy strokes and I really wasn't able to blend two colors together at all. I'm not very happy with the background in this, but I just decided to leave it as is. With the water, I was starting with a middle shade and covered the whole area with that. I made sure to look at my reference picture to know where the shadows and highlights were in my waves. I started adding the darkest shades first and then went with a little bit lighter blue to just add in between some of the shadows and then finally added a lot of white. This is the last monthly setup in the Scribbles That Matter notebook and after this I'm starting with a whole new channel that I've never used before. I'm going to be posting a lot next month. I've planned to post my June weeklies video, a full bullet channel flip through, a new bullet channel setup and also obviously my next plan with me video. I'm so excited to start from scratch and use a new channel. If you want to see a review of this notebook now that I've used this for half a year, leave a comment below. I stayed in my comfort zone with the spread and used the layout that I've incorporated in almost all of my setups this year. My habit trackers are on the left side of the spread and I'm tracking my mood and sleep on the right side by drawing lines that represent my mood and hours slept. The longer the line is, the better my mood is and the longer I slept. I use the same technique for this painting as I did with the waves on the other page and I think these two pages ended up looking really nice together. Since I ended up spending over 24 hours, yes, over 24 hours on my May setup, I wanted to take a little bit more relaxed approach on my June theme and made sure I didn't spend too much time on any of my spreads. I was trying to keep everything fairly simple and tried to remind myself that I don't need to make it look at all realistic. For this spread, I painted a close-up picture of some wave swirls and again used masking fluid for the foam parts. I was just using different shades of blue and doubling them all over this image, not really thinking about it much. I actually got a little bit of bleed through while painting this, but I was just layering too much paint on top of each other and using too much water. After removing the masking fluid, I still used some white to make some more little lines and dots all over the painting. This layout itself is exactly like the one I made for my May setup, having all of my lists on the right page and my spending on the left one. I swear, not all of my pages are inspired by Hannah, but well, this is. I've seen her make these spreads that have a painting as a border surrounding the page and I definitely wanted to try it here in my spread. Instead of an Instagram tracker, this month I decided to make a content planner now that I've started to post more on YouTube and TikTok as well. The painting is just a seascape with waves and a beach and it was super quick and easy to make. 
I didn't really make many details for the sea itself and instead just focused on the foam parts and I think that tied the painting together nicely. I don't know what went through my mind when I thought that there are six columns in this month's calendar. I also made even bigger mistake when I used tabs in my weeklies for the first time and decided that this month has five weeklies. Now I have six tabs and I have to figure out how to fill one extra spread in my setup. Here you can see me fixing that mistake I made in my calendar and luckily I have my handy jelly roll just to draw over all of those extra days. Now I'm flipping to the last page in my tune setup and it has my playlist and tune review pages. Since I'm using the weekly tabs here in this setup, this last page is visible from all of my weeklies and I wanted to paint it first so it would look more put together. This painting is pretty much the same painting as I did for the last spread. Now it looks very cohesive and if you're looking at my content planner spread, it almost looks like the painting is just continuing here. That's also why I'm constantly flipping to that spread. I am trying to match the colors and elements as well as I can. Now let's go back to my weekly spread. I painted my tabs with the same coral shade and I have to say I really love the contrast between an ocean blue and the pink. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me make this layout so many times before and I just had to use it when I knew what my theme was going to be. The layout here is basically identical to one that I made in my June 2020 theme as well and I'm going to pop a picture of it here because I really liked it. This spread has a box for each day and a small calendar and three paintings. For this painting, I painted a beach from above and again used masking fluid. First, I just mixed different blue and green shades for the ocean, but I ended up covering it with a blue gradient to keep it more clean. I took some dark brown color and used my brush to splatter some dots for the sand and also painted the edge of the foam darker to make a little shadow. I'm going to post my weekly spreads video later, so make sure to turn on the reminders to be notified when I'm posting a new video. That's it for my tune setup. I'm just going to do a quick flip through of the full setup. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!